If you haven't watched the video on the introduction to sigma notation, then I would advise you do so now as parts of this video may not make sense. So when you are asked to calculate the following, if you just look at this, it doesn't really look like a question, but in fact, it is a question. This funny symbol means calculate the sum of. So the technique we use is to go find term one, term two, and term three. How do we do that? Simple, you just start by plugging this number into the equation in the place of P. So for term one, people often think, oh, you have to plug one. No, no, you just plug the first number. So that's just gonna be a two. So it'll be two to the power of two minus one. And that's gonna be two to the power of one, which is just two. Then you add one to the P, so now it is equal to three. So then you'll plug three over here. So it'll be two to the power of three minus one, which is four. Then you plug P as, now P has a value of four, so it'll be four minus one, which is eight. Now we analyze these three numbers and we ask ourselves if that is arithmetic or geometric. Well, it is geometric because we are multiplying by two each time. So now we don't have to go all the way until we get to P equals to nine. We can just use the geometric sum formula which is this one over here. Of course, you don't have to use the formula. You could go find term four, term five, and you would keep going until your P number gets to nine. However, that's gonna take a lot of time. So we use the sum formula. Now we're gonna work out the sum. So A is always gonna be term one. Well, that's just, it has a value of two. One minus, your R value is your ratio, and that's how much you're multiplying by, that's two. Now N, that's your number of terms, which is not always gonna be the number at the top. It's gonna be the number at the top, which is nine, minus the number at the bottom, which is a two, that's this one over here, and then you should add one, and that's gonna give you eight terms. So there are eight terms in the sequence, and then at the bottom we just have one minus your ratio, which is two. You can put all that in on the calculator, and you get a final answer of 510, and that's the answer. Let's try another one. So when trying to work out a sigma notation question, we have to go work out term one, two, and three. To find term one, you just plug this number into the place of V. So it will be two times minus two minus three, and that's gonna give us minus seven. Then you just add one to this number over here. So now that's gonna be minus one. So you plug that in the place of V like that, and that's gonna give us minus five. And then for term three, you're gonna add one to V again, so now V will be zero, and that's gonna give us minus three. Then what we do is we analyze these three numbers over here, and we see what type of pattern that is. Well, in this case, that is arithmetic. You are adding two each time. So we can use the sum formula of an arithmetic pattern, which is the following. So let's get started. So with that, we need the number of terms, which is not going to always, it's not always going to be that number at the top. Remember we said the rule is you take the top number, you minus the bottom number, which is a negative. So it's nine minus minus two plus one. Well, nine minus minus two is 11 and 11 plus one is 12. So there are 12 terms in the sequence. And let me actually just explain how that makes sense. So V starts off at minus two, so that would be for term one. Then it's for term, then it goes up to minus one, then it goes to zero, then it goes to one, two, three, four, and then it's gonna go all the way to nine. Now if you had to go count each of those, well that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 terms, see? So it's gonna be 12 terms, so we say 12 over two, then two times A, A is term number one, which is negative seven. Your number of terms is 12, and the common difference we said was positive two. So we'll just put a two over there, and then you just put all of that in on the calculator, and you calculate your sum. And if you add all that together, you end up with 48. So the answer to that question is 48.